Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Today I'll be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures because I've gotten many requests on how I edit them. So let's begin. So this is the phone I use to take most of my pictures and my Canon G7X, but this is an iPhone 8S Plus and look how glittery this is. This is my phone and the lock screen is me basically. So once you go into my phone, this is what my phone stuff looks like. The main apps I keep are in photo and video, which I am going to rename right now because I don't like that name. Let's go. I want to name it Pickies. So the main photo apps I use are 8mm for my Instagram stories, Afterlight, Planoli, Visco, Huji, and Lightroom occasionally. So the main app I use is Visco. I do everything on there and as you can tell, this is my studio. And let me just choose a picture to show you guys how I edit most of them because I basically use the same setting for everything. So uh, let us choose, let's use this one first. So I purchased some filters such as M5 and stuff. So I mainly use M5 and I just, I don't do it that much. I just tone it down to like, I do like a 1.9. I go into exposure. Turn it up a little. Contrast, turn it down because I feel like my my blocks are too black. Oh, oh, too much, too much. And then I go into saturation and I tone up the saturation. And then I go to temperature. I tone up the temperature to around. I want my I like my pictures pretty warm. And then I tone. Hmm, which one should we do today? I like point, negative point two. And then skin tone. I just, I feel like these don't make a big difference, but in my mind, it makes a big difference. So that's just what I do. So I am going to do point one. Not that that makes much of a difference, but you know. And then I like to do a little vin. Vignette, vignette, I did not know. And then I tone up the grain, cause I like my pictures grainy because I want that vintage aesthetic. So that seems okay. And then this is pretty much all I do in Visco and then I save it. And after that I go to Afterlight and I put my picture into Afterlight and then I don't do anything in Afterlight except I, I use instant film and occasionally dusty but I think I purchased this film pack, not sure, but this is what I do. I like the last two the most, so maybe? And then you can like rotate it and stuff. I like this one. And I just do this little, and this is basically all I do for my Instagram pictures. And I save it. In Lightroom, I like to... Alright. Now that I'm into Lightroom, this is this is my biggest friend Victoria. In Lightroom, I use it for my darkish pictures, so like this one. Get okay. And I like I brighten it a little. And then I go into color. And then like I just think this is easier than Visco for some reason. And I can do this. And then this is basically what I do in Lightroom. And then I just export it like this. And then I edit in Visco and then blah 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 and then blah 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 as I showed you guys before. And then another app I like to use to plan out my Instagram theme is Planoli. These are all my pictures that I've posted on Instagram already, but I can import one like this. Add, upload, and then I could just put it here if I wanted to. Like, okay, maybe that matches it. And this is how I plan what I post on Instagram because I'm fucking not sure. Another app I like to use for my Instagram stories is AMM and it makes all your it makes all your um videos videos look vintage. So this is what I use for my Instagram stories because I keep getting messages asking what I use. And yeah, and then you can change the colors and everything. So this one makes it more orange. I like the tritone colored, the two colored one. And then there's this one. 
this one. There's a lot of filters. And I think this one costs some money, but it's worth it. So let me just... The last camera app I want to show you guys is Huji. And this app is very cool. And then you go into the lab and then it edits your photo into something like, like a flash one-time use photo camera would. So yeah, these are all the apps I use. And when you go into my Instagram, which is at Chan, you can see my theme. So I used to have a green theme. And then now I'm not sure what theme it's going to. It's like blue green now, but I'll figure that out. This is how I edit my Instagram pictures. I'll make a video on how I edit my YouTube videos soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching how I edit my Instagram pictures. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will be leaving now. I love you all. Bye.